Welcome friends. Welcome back to this series of lectures on teacher on demand series. This lecture will be dedicated to lactose intolerance. Now I'll give you a clinical scenario. A two, two year old child was brought to the hospital with complaints of diarrhea, flatulence and abdominal distension. The mother said that the condition get, uh, got aggravated more after giving a glass of milk or for that matter any milk products. Now the we need to understand what is this is a classical way a child with lactose intolerance will present. We need to understand the mechanisms of the above conditions, why diarrhea occurs, why flatulence occurs that is pain in the abdomen and why or passing of gases and why abdominal distension occurs. And having understood the principle of these symptoms, we can then detect uh, or we can then give a therapy for it. Now. The basic mechanism is that the enzyme lactase is not present. Lactase is required to break lactose into glucose and galactose and then only these oligosaccharides, uh, these monosaccharides can be absorbed from the system. Now when glucose and galactose do not get, uh, when uh, lactose is not split to glucose and galactose, it gets retained into the intestinal content, exerts an osmotic potential, absorbs more water and this results in production of osmotic diarrhea. The cause of diarrhea is because of the osmotic pressure exerted by the undigested lactose in the gut. When this glucose, when this lactose then reaches the gut, we all know that gut have got common cell bacteria and these bacteria act upon the lactose, they are able to metabolize them. They act upon the lactose releasing lot of gases and acids. These gases and acids are responsible for the abdominal dist distension and the flatulence caused thereof. Diarrhea because of osmotic diarrhea, abdominal distension and flatulence because of the gases released by the common cell bacteria in the colon which act on the undigested lactose. Now this condition could be genetic or many a times acquired and the treatment of this if you understand the pathophysiology it's because of the enzyme deficiency so if we give replace the enzymes by oral supplementation then we could overcome but more importantly avoiding diet containing lactose would be the most ideal treatment for this condition in the acquired cases of lactose intolerance when the body system is devoid of lactose for a particular amount of time automatically the enzymes get upregulated and after some time gradually milk and milk products can be introduced but even then if the person is not able to tolerate it then lactose will have to be totally omitted from the diet thank you very much and i would solicit your advice and criticisms on my email thank you